Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna to be making a keto cheesecake. So I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make a cheesecake at home. This is what you'll need for your cheesecake. So let's start off with the crust. For the crust, you will need your almond flour, you'll need some butter, you will need cinnamon and sweetener. So that's what we'll need for our crust, okay? Then for the filling, you'll need two, uh, like two of the blocks of cream cheese, which is 16 ounces. You'll need your sweetener, eggs, just two eggs, and a pinch of salt. So, we do extract. If you wanna do an almond extract, you will not be adding lemon. If you wanna do like your traditional cheesecake, then you would do the lemon juice and some vanilla extract. I have vanilla flavor right now. So, that's what we'll need for our ingredients. You will also need either your stand mixer. I'm gonna be using our little hand mixer here just because, you know, it's easier for you guys to see. And then we'll use this little guy, the one that has this little clip here. And that's what we'll be using for our um, baking dish. Okay, so we have our almond flour. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. Guys, the cinnamon is completely optional. I like it to have somewhat of like a graham cracker crust. So um, I just did a little quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And here's one tablespoon of sweetener. We're actually gonna do half, half a tablespoon of sweetener just so it's not too um, too sweet because our cheesecake filling will be nice and sweet. But guys, this is your cheesecake, so you're gonna add as much or as little as you want, okay? So once everything's kind of mixed in, it doesn't have to be like perfect because we're gonna mix it in with the butter. Um, then we're going to add it to our dish. And here we have four tablespoons of butter and we're just gonna add it right on top. So you can see that. Woo! And now we're just gonna mix this really quickly and you'll end up having to press it down with your hands, with your fingers, um, so it'll look kind of crumbly and that's okay because it still has, it cannot be completely soaked in butter or else you'll just have a mess of a crust. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that I am still conscious of like calories and carbs. Um, and the crust is made with almond flour and butter. So I usually do a thin crust. Guys, if you love a thick crust and you're making this for like a special occasion, double the crust. And you can actually um, put it up here. Like you know how sometimes the cheesecakes have the crust that goes all the way around? Um, you just have to double, or depending on how big your baking dish is, you can triple it. Okay. So that's why I like to, um, you know, make a thin crust. As you can see, this is, you know, barely going to go all the way around. Um, if you guys are really, really trying to save on, on the carbs, you can make it crustless. And um, I actually have a crustless microwavable cheesecake that um, I will link below and you guys can go and make that. You don't even have to turn your oven on. So, that's it guys. We're just gonna put it all the way around, you know, make sure that it's evenly pressed. And once it is, then, some parts are a little thicker, then we're going to bake this for about seven to 10 minutes depending on your oven. You don't want it to get toasty, you just want it to um, lightly start to brown because it's obviously gonna cook for a lot longer once the filling is in here, okay? So you're just gonna do this, make sure that your crust is evenly spread throughout. And again, if you guys want it to line the entire cheesecake, you're gonna double the recipe. Okay, so we are all done with our crust, guys. This is what you want it to look like. And now we're gonna bake it between, I would say seven to 10 minutes. I bake on convection, but of course every oven is different. So just make sure it lightly starts to brown and I will show you how it should look. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so our crust is in the oven and now we're going to make our filling. So by the time our filling's done, our crust should be ready to go and then we'll put it back in to cook. So. We have our two 16, I mean two eight ounce cream cheese, which is 16 ounces. Now let's go ahead and put our eggs in. So 
you want to make sure that all your ingredients are room temperature so that everything mixes well because if not it's going to be clumpy and you don't want that and um, for the sweetener okay so this is powdered sweetener I've never had an issue before with granular until I tried the Lakanto brand and it made my cheesecake crunchy so I really dislike that um, so we are going to use a half cup of powdered sweetener. If you have the Lakanto sweetener, you're going to want to run it through your processor, okay? Through the like little coffee grinder. And now we're just going to do a little pinch of salt. Okay, and then I think we'll do the traditional. Should we do traditional? I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking. So we'll do... Remember, this is not vanilla extract. If you're doing vanilla extract, you just want to use a little teaspoon. I use a tablespoon because this is um, definitely not as concentrated. So let's go ahead and mix this, and then um, I will show you what's next. Okay, I almost forgot about our little lemon here. So we're gonna do one tablespoon of lemon juice. Woo! Look at that, guys. Boom. If you want to add zest, you can. Um, we might add it at the top. So let's get blended and see how our little guy turns out. Okay, so the warmer your ingredients are, the quicker they're going to all incorporate. So I think my cream cheese was still a little... Um, so now we're just gonna have to whip it a little longer but you want it to be um, room temperature like the entire thing okay and your eggs and everything so we're gonna blend this up and once it's all well incorporated you will see what it looks like Okay guys, so I just pulled this out of the oven seven minutes later, but again, remember I had it on convection, so this is what you want your crust to look like. So maybe it's 10 minutes on a regular setting at 350 degrees, and now we're gonna set this down, finish up our filling, and we will pour it in. Okay, so here is our batter. Whoa, look at that. How beautiful. Okay. So here is our bata. You want to get every last bit of it, guys, because this is like liquid gold here. Yeah. And now what we're going to do is bake it. So you're just going to spread this around, right? And again, if you guys want like a sky high, a sky high um, cheesecake, then you just double the recipe. But if not, then you will be good to go now. Okay guys, so our cheesecake is done. We have our crust, we have our filling. So now we're gonna bake it. I cook mine on convection at 350 degrees, but if you cook it on regular temperature, then you wanna go at least, I would say 35 to 45 minutes, just depending on your oven. Um, but I would just check it, especially like on your first, first time making it. Check it in about 35 minutes, see where you're at. If it needs a little bit more, then add another five, 10 minutes. Um, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like after 25 minutes. 350 degrees on convection. Let's go. Okay, don't mind my beautiful mitt, mitten. So this ended up cooking for 30 minutes on convection. As you can see here, it's beautiful. So we're gonna put it down and then we're gonna have this set in the fridge, but let's go to the counter. Okay guys, so here's our cheesecake. Look at how beautiful it looks. It rose really, really beautifully, barely starting to brown, which is perfect. And it's all set. We're going to um, let this cool for a tiny bit and then it'll go into our refrigerator for a few hours. Okay, so excuse the mess, guys, but here is our beautiful cheesecake that has been setting all day and now we're gonna cut into it. Okay guys, so here is our cheesecake. It is now set and guess what? I found out what this is called. It's called a spring form pan. So, ton to the ton, woo! Look at this baby. So remember, if you guys want your crust to be all the way up here, 
all the way at the top, just double the crust recipe, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to top this little bad boy with some berries because um, berries just make everything look beautiful. Oopsie. You guys can top, top it with whatever you want. If you wanna do whipped cream, if you wanna make a glaze. I thought about making um, my famous little glaze. Um, I will link it down below if you guys wanna make the the glaze. Um, that's just absolutely phenomenal. Oh, hey, hey pretty girl, look at that. And now we will top it with some chocolate syrup because berries and syrup just go hand in hand. That's just the way it is, guys, sorry. And this is Chalk Zero, by the way, if you guys don't already know. Um, I do have a discount code if you guys want to grab some of this sugar-free syrup. It's low carb love. Ooh, yes, please. Gosh. Wowzers. Okay, so now comes my favorite part. I'm not gonna be all savage mode, guys, so we're only going to get a small piece. Oh yeah. Do you see that? Mm -mm -mm. All right, here goes. Okay guys, now for my favorite part. So this is like the perfect bite. Mmm. Wow. It's where it's at. I'm not even joking. This is it. This is perfect. Top it with fresh berries, a little bit of whipped cream. You're set. Mmm. Okay, guys, so we're all done with our recipe. I've already done the taste test, and it's amazing. So go make this. Tag me on Instagram so that I can reshare your recreation with everyone. I love seeing what you guys make. Um, other than that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you turn your post notifications on so that you're reminded every time I put up a recipe. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up. So until next time, guys, I love you. Mwah.